The president and CEO says that they are canceling third shift because of what happened inside the building behind me. This is not a still lake. What I'm in, it used to be a road. 13-year-old boy killed in front of his house is laid to rest. The sheriff's deputies tell us they're not familiar with the man at the center of this standoff and tell us he has no criminal record. Another letter was sent out, but when it arrived at the new address, Erdman wasn't living there. That's a violation of his parole. The business was broken into by a bolt cutter, the lock clipped right off. All the parties are pretty much on the same page. I'm apparently Love making you. lots of friends out here. Thanks, man. We're live at Summerfest. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. And I heard uh, five different gunshots. Heavier than uh, fireworks. Bang, bang, and then bang, bang, bang. The sounds of gunfire were eventually drowned out by the call Officers down. And uh, they're both in pretty bad condition. You know, a lot of blood, a lot of kicking and screaming from, from them. Two police officers assigned to the second district stopped a suspicious individual for questioning. The officers stopped a man on a bicycle? Yes, sir. Without provocation, he drew a weapon and shot both officers before they had an opportunity to draw their weapons. Sounded like almost like Vietnam years ago. The suspect fled the scene. But before the massive police response, the canine units, dozens of officers on foot, some with assault rifles, some on horseback, some one needed to tend to the wounded police officers. Peek my head out and I see all these cops converging on the scene. They were working on the one officer desperately. As soon as I got to the scene, I told them, hey, I'm an EMT, let me help out. Tom Aldana went from his job on 2nd Street to the job of life-saving. I got gloves from one of the officers and right away I, I started applying pressure to the, uh, to the gunshot wounds. He stood by until emergency workers got to the crime scene. As soon as the fire department got there, we were able to get a hold of some occlusive dressings and seal those wounds more adequately. Police say within an hour of the gunfire, officers with guns drawn located the man responsible for the shooting near 3rd and Walker. A coordinated area search has produced a suspect and has produced a weapon. We're, we're treating this as an attempt homicide investigation. We believe we have the right man. Police Chief Ed Flynn tells us the man in custody does have a criminal record with the Milwaukee Police Department. Tonight, he is under special guard at the city jail. They are the games. The sounds and sights surrounding the holiday suds. It's the green beer that did me in. Thousands hit the Water Street bars. A lot of people drinking a lot of alcohol with fine Irish music in the background. If only that were true. People have too much to drink and become argumentative, and we have assaults. Really? Come on, dude. Why don't you keep walking there, boss? Have fun. Why don't you keep walking? You take care of him tonight, all right? People have too much to drink and drive, and they're dangerous. Milwaukee police count their numbers in a roll call as some try to count their alcohol intake. It keeps going. If they had a little bit too much to drink, we're going to make sure they get into a cab. Taxi cabs. I promise you, I would never drive. Appreciate it. Policing the pavement, you'll find Officer David Gransart as he finds one violation. Can't be walking around with a beer in your hand, though. After another. You know you can't walk around with that, right? Why don't you do me a favor? Go ahead and pour that out right there. You're not allowed to drink alcohol on Milwaukee sidewalks. So hopefully it's a deterrent effect that people look left and look right and see some blue and decide to uh, moderate the green. If you're not doing anything wrong, you should have nothing against the police. On bikes, and on the lookout, law enforcement hoping this holiday is marked by festivities rather than felonies. Madison, Madison! All we're trying to do is just keep people safe. The Milwaukee County Sheriff's Office says that for the average weekend, they make 11 drunk driving arrests. They say last year during St. Patrick's Day, that number was 77. In between the stretch of road connecting Rome and Sullivan, Wisconsin, thousands assemble. Look at the big fish. I got some nice looking floats today. You're going to enjoy it. They watch and witness something in between madness and genius. What is that? Lunacy and laughter. Ah! Somebody got run over or something. Who cares? Anarchy and artistry. It's not a normal prank. If you consider Dan Boss an artist. It's your time. And his paintbrush is his bobcat. Faster, slower. Now you might have to just lower it a hair once it gets up four or five feet. 
and back her up. If you'd call Boss a sculptor. Looks nice. Then he's welding and melding machinery Killer. into a not so perfect piece. <laughs> ready, roll out on display. PVC pipe that's all haggard. A Batmobile car. Double decker school bus, huh? Oh yeah, I forgot there's a pontoon boat on top too. <laughs> Welcome aboard the maiden voyage of the Big Johnson. Welcome to the 2011 Junk Parade. Formed from a calamity of clutter, cocktail of adrenaline, engineering, and alcohol. There's a little bit of beer involved always. A mix of machismo, mechanized machinery, and did we mention alcohol? A lot of alcohol, mostly alcohol. We'd like to tell you this display is dedicated to the responsibility of recycling. But it's about being irresponsible. It's just about having fun. It's a good way to raise some money. Funds collected here go to the Sullivan Area Chamber of Commerce and local first responders. Oh, look at this. And firefighters are about to earn that cash. As a Ford F-150 disguised as a big mouth bass catches fire. A fatality? Bass is gutted. Casualty. But this fish gets hooked on a line and towed away fine. Success is sometimes measured in merely getting to the end of the parade. I'm a betting man and I have confidence in my junk. To make it to the finish line, if we cross there safely, we'll be fine. But it's a junk parade. You never know what they'll do. Redefining the phrase art is what you make of it. Proving one man's trash is another man's pleasure. Looks almost beautiful. Jeremy Ross, Fox 6 News. Tonight's big story at 9, a Mount Pleasant motorcycle crash sends two to the hospital. 13-year-old boy killed in front of his house is laid to rest. Friends and family pack the All People Lutheran Church in Milwaukee to say goodbye to Darius Simmons. Investigators say Simmons was approached by his 75-year-old neighbor, John Spooner. Spooner accused the teen of stealing, then shot him. Attorney General Eric Holder appointed two U.S. attorneys to investigate recent national security leaks. You decide coverage now. Tuesday's loss is still stinging, but Wisconsin Democrats say they are ready for the next round. The state party's convention continued today in Appleton. Fox 6's A.J. Byatpour talked to delegates who say they've already shaken off the recall results. But with Greece near financial collapse, the stakes are higher and the temperatures are running hotter. Watch as verbal jabs become physical ones. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. If you wonder when chivalry died, what? I present Exhibit Dude, that A. that was a woman! Yes, he hit a woman. Translated, he called the woman an old, quote, commie, and she called him, quote, a criminal. This was on live morning television in Athens, the guy who went on the attack. By the way, facing assault charges. Good. Yes. Yes. Now, granted, Washington, D.C., basically on a swamp, so you get the high humidity out there, oh. so it can be a pretty uh, hot place to be uh, hanging around in. Listen yeah. to this weather guy, Justin. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I'm not taking that gig. <laughs> you don't even need me. I'm just going to go take off. That's that, guys. <laughs> that, no, 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 please come back. Please come back. I, I, can't, I can't even say dew points with a straight face <laughs> on the air.